Hello YouTube, it's Ashlar here with the eighth video in the series on random numbers in beginner Java programming. Today we're going to create the same program that we did in tutorial 7, but I'm going to show you a better way to do it using two arrays instead of just one. If you remember from the tutorial previously, we had to type in every value for all 52 cards. Instead, we can do this using an array for suits of the cards and a separate array for the values of the cards. I've named this one Better Pick a Card to differentiate it from tutorial number 7. Also, make sure that you have imported java.util.random as above and that you have a main method. What we're going to do is create two arrays of strings. Let's start with suits. So type string, and then square brackets makes it an array. And I'm going to name mine suits, S-U-I-T-S, and we're going to set it equal to... And then we're going to actually put our values in right here. Here we're going to enter the names of the four suits of cards, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Make sure each of them is in quotation marks and separated by commas. End with a curly bracket and a semicolon. Great. Now we're going to do the same thing for all the values of the cards. So we're going to make another array string and then the square brackets. I'm going to name mine values and set it equal to. And then in these curly brackets, we're going to enter the values of all the individual cards in quotation marks and separated by commas. I'm going to fast forward to that so you don't have to watch me type it all out. All right, and there it is, 13 values, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, and king. Those are all the cards, and we've got the four suits above. So now rather than having to have all 52 cards, we can just associate a value with a suit, ace of clubs, ace of hearts, ace of spades, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now we want to randomly choose a value from each array. Remember that the indexes of the array are starting from zero. So clubs is index zero. So that would be suits, index zero, one, two, and three. And here we have indexes zero through 12. I'm going to do this with two random number generators, but in reality, you could accomplish the same thing with one. I just feel it's going to be easier to understand right now by using two different random number generators. To do that, we're going to write two lines of code right now and name them two different things. I'm going to do random and then name it suit chooser and set it equal to new random. Make sure you put the parentheses because now this is the constructor, semicolon. Now I can just copy and paste that because all we're going to do for the next line of code is just give it a different name. If you have any guess what it's going to be, I'm going to call it value chooser. Again, these names in orange on my screen represent variable names, so you can actually name them whatever you like. I'm just choosing names that I hope demonstrate what I'm trying to accomplish. Now we're going to want to print to the console a randomly selected value and a randomly selected suit, usually just because we name the cards as ace of clubs or three of spades. So I'm going to do it in the opposite order that they're written above. I guess I could have done that earlier, but it's already done, so just bear with me. I'll do a sysout. Inside the sysout, we're going to write values because that's the array that we're referring to. And then inside the index, see we could just set we could just set an index here, like let's say index 2, which would print out the number 3 on the screen below. Let me run it and show you that. You can see it prints out 3 because 3 is the value here at index number 2, 0, 1, 2, we have a 3 written in there. But instead of writing the index that we want it to print out, we're going to put the random number generator inside the index brackets, just like we did in the last tutorial. We're going to write down value chooser, which is our random number generator for values. And you can always do control space to bring up a list of recommendations so you don't have to type everything out. And then in value chooser, we have to do next int. And then inside the parentheses here, we need to give it a range. We want our range to be 12 since we have to choose between 0 and 12. Now we have a line that's going to print to the screen one of the strings in the values array randomly chosen. Now we're going to do the same exact thing for suits. So rather than typing everything again, we're going to copy and paste it. And instead, change values to suits because that's the array we want to pick from. And then change value chooser to suit chooser. 
We also need to change the number in the parentheses because since we only have four suits, that's a total of 0, 1, 2, 3. We wanted to choose between the number 0 and 3, not 12. So we're going to put 3 in here so that it only chooses a number between 0 and 3. Otherwise, we're going to get an error that it could pick a number outside of the range of values available here. So to avoid that, we want to make sure that this is 3. Now I'm going to run the program and show you that we're going to get a random card value and a random suit. Three of spades, if I run it again, we get jack of hearts, nine of hearts, nine of clubs, seven of clubs, three of clubs, seven of spades. That's everything important in this program. We're getting a randomly chosen card with two arrays and two random number generators. If we want to neaten it up, we can just add a couple more print lines that display the word of instead of just ace clubs. I'm going to copy and paste those in right now just so you can see how it would change what you see on the console screen. I kept the important stuff that we just did a moment ago, but I added some things above and below it, like picking a card for you, and this is just to kind of frame it. There's what we had before. I put of in between the two printouts and then another frame below it. So I'm going to run the code, and you'll see what it looks like. Picking a card for you, ten of clubs. Picking a card for you, queen of clubs. Picking a card for you, four of hearts. Picking a card for you, four of spades, jack of clubs. So the code isn't really working any differently. I just added print lines to nicen up the visual output of it. You can write whatever you want to there. Have some fun with it. Okay, here's the final code for the project today. If you notice, the line that lists the values of the cards, I just moved it down one line because I realized that with the zoom settings I had, you probably couldn't see the entire line. Other than that, absolutely nothing is different. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Have fun working with random number generators. There's so many uses for them in Java programming. Let your creativity run wild and create the most random, random numbers in the world. Thanks again. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming up really soon. I'm going to be starting from the very, very beginning of Java programming from absolute step one, installing Java on your computer and getting started knowing absolutely nothing. Thanks again, and don't forget to leave me comments and questions in the section below. Catch you on the next one.